Hi guys, it is still December 30, 2017. I'm going to pass along some videos to you. The first one was just passed along to me by my friend in Houston. I didn't know about this channel, but I have to say this man in seven and a half minutes succinctly, eloquently pulls together an argument for the California fires. I'll let you listen to just you know, a one minute. Now, I'm not sure if he's actually a professor. I believe that he's in entertainment um, because I did some research and all evidence is really pointing to he being in entertainment, not a real professor. I could be wrong about that. But he might just say that because he is teaching us about the fact that these fires were, it was arson for sure. Hello, I'm Peter Crawford Valentino. I'm speaking to you today about the California wildfires specifically. In my estimation, the California wildfires, as they're called, are not wildfires at all. It's very obvious that these are not naturally existing fires. Wildfires, if you look it up in Wikipedia, are spontaneous combustion that comes from undergrowth and grasses and twigs and trees and such. These weird fires are not like that at all. They don't have anything to do with vegetation. They strangely attack houses and leave vegetation unharmed. So what could have caused these fires? Well, that's the teaser. Click on the link and listen to what he has to say. He really does pull together the chemtrails, the smart meters, the microwave frequencies, which are directed energy weapons. And he gets to the point. So since I clearly can't do that anymore, I will pass along to you people who can. Next video. Show me, baby. In Houston. Or go, no, he's in Missouri. This was posted just an hour ago. He's in Missouri. He's on his way to Texas, Houston. Uh, government officials are going to be taking tents away from people who have lost their homes. It's winter. It's cold. You know, there are no words, really, that I can find to really capture the evil that is taking place in our country. And it is only ordinary Americans who can put a stop to it. People like Show Me Baby. He's going down with his um, militia or whomever he's working with, along with another organization, Don't Comply, to try to put a stop to this. You know, I have to say, I was I was just listening to him. You can't see his face because he's filming at night. But I'm listening to him and I'm thinking to myself, if I were younger, I would absolutely love to have someone like Show Me Baby in my life as a partner, a man who actually cares and takes action. Wow. What happened to the men? in our country. What happened to men? There are so few who actually take action. There are so few who are like Show Me Baby and and the few others who 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 engage in action to fight the tyranny, to try to make people's lives better, who actually care. And because they are among the few it is an absolute disgrace what has happened. Where are the men? So, this video, you know, I just came across because it was just a recommended video watching Show Me Baby's video. Suddenly Homeless in Houston. It is so heartbreaking to see so many people who are suddenly 
going over the edge into homelessness. He lost his job. He couldn't find another job. And I am so sick of the judgment from people. Oh, the homeless, they're drug addicts, they're alcoholics, they're schizophrenics, they're mentally ill, they're this, they're that. You know, these judgments, I believe, form in people's heads so that they can just walk away. And, and well, I guess they think they did it to themselves. They, having no clue about all of the external forces that are beyond one's control, that come at you, that put you right into this circumstance. And it really is, I guess, experience that teaches you that, wow, one can become homeless and not be mentally ill and not be a drug addict and not be an alcoholic. It's very sad what is happening to our country. But here is another young man. And this video was passed along to me by a subscriber who wanted me to support him. And his channel is JWTV. Are you willing to die spreading truth? I also have subscribers who leave comments saying that, well, you know, the younger generations, they just don't know what we had, and they don't, you know, they're just staring at their cell phones. There's a lot of young people doing that, but there's an awful lot of young people who are very wise and who will get out there and speak the truth. And this is one of them. And I was listening to what he had to say. And I was thinking, man, I'd love to post a video just commenting on the various things that, that he is saying. And my energy is really pretty low. Today we got pummeled with chemtrails. Pummeled. And the frequencies. But, yeah. Are you willing to die for something? Are you willing to die? Are you willing to die for the truth? Are you willing to die for the principles that you speak? Because if you are not, then you are probably somebody who is just sitting back doing nothing. When you're not afraid to die, you're not afraid to get out there. And, well, like this man, he, that's what he does. You just keep going. And yeah, you know, you might be afraid of getting attacked and all that, but it doesn't stop you. Something compels you to keep going. Because... It's something greater than yourself. So I love coming across videos of these young men, especially. You know, so many people have left comments claiming that I'm a feminist and I hate men. Oh my God. If any of you guys feel that I hate men, first of all, what are you doing here? And second of all, how did you possibly get that idea? And those of you who think that I'm a feminist, how did you get that idea? I'm really not a feminist. I do believe that men and women have very different... Um, roles we're 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 different and you know we each have our strengths and talents you know 
and they're different from one another. And I do believe that men really do need to protect. I know I'm going to get slammed by feminists for saying this. But, yeah, men. You protect your families. You protect your home. So it's, it's nice to see young men who are about that. Anyway, the links are below. I hope you all have a great night. I'll say Happy New Year tomorrow. I'm sure I'll be posting a video.